Hello, people. Okay, so uh, we have a very special guest. Uh, she's come from a land far, far away, and uh, she's here to do a session on road safety at Don Bosco. And we're going to catch up with her soon. So she's going to be sharing her experiences and all the biking that she's done and all the travel that she's uh, pursued and uh, a lot of amazing stuff. Uh, she's also here for our Road Thrills second anniversary, which is on Saturday. And uh, hope to see you guys there. Have fun. Uh, welcome to Bangalore. Hi. Uh, so w when did you arrive in Bangalore? Uh, I came last night and uh, Bangalore has such beautiful weather, man. Seriously, it's always it's so... the best place, isn't yes. it? Yes. <laughs> I don't want to say that, but yeah, the weather is definitely very good. Brilliant, brilliant. So, uh, what brings you to Bangalore? Uh, this time, there's a very special reason. So, there's this group called RT Road Thrills who've invited me for their second anniversary. Which is tomorrow. Which is tomorrow. And where exactly is it? Where are you guys taking me? So, there's this place called Patel's Inn in... in uh, RT Nagar in Bangalore, so that's where we're having our second anniversary, and it's been a fabulous two years. Okay. And we're really RT glad Nagar. and honored that you're here. So honored, Limka Limka Book of Records. Yeah. Uh, you want to tell me about that? <laughs> yeah. So uh, in fact, the last uh, exotic motorcycle that I rode was here in Bangalore. Two of them, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. So you know, like I've been since I've been working for quite some time with all the motorcycle companies. And then I was here on a project wherein uh, you know we were in search of 100 motorcycles. So okay. this project was with XBHP. I mean that's how people have started to and get to know idea. about this. Yes. And uh, so yeah. But so which one was your favorite out of the hundred? It's, I'm, it's, I'm it's, going to stick to this topic a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know. I'm sure it's very fascinating. But you know, uh, when I started riding. It was all about super bikes, and but on this project, I actually, that of yeah, you know, like super bikes, the machine, the, the engine, the technology, and everything. But when I started riding a vintage motorcycle here on this trip, you know, like where we were finding exotic motorcycles, uh -huh. that was the first time when I realized that maybe you know, like a machine like Ariel, which is 1930s, is as beautiful as a date, like like a new Daytona day super bike, like a Daytona, or maybe yeah. like an H2 for that matter, because. In that motorcycle, I could literally see the functioning of everything. You yeah, know, like the gears, everything. Yeah, so <laughs> like you can actually see it, right? And the right. hand shift gear and everything. And when yeah. you can see the mechanics working, you just kind of like feel closer to the bike, and you have that connection. So and then, and then you get into the history. Yeah, and then you get into the history. How this happened? Yeah. Why this happened? Why was this made? And then you even like then it comes with a background, and then it's even more fascinating, right? So exactly. I think yeah. So so I, what got you in the motorcycle? Just like I've been, you know, like into sports with all the, since very beginning, since mm -hmm. childhood. So all my, you know, like male friends used to have a motorcycle at home, and I was like, why the f hell yeah, can I not? Have? <laughs> exactly. Me ko bhi chahiye. Yar, even I wanted. So, but wow. obviously while growing up, I couldn't have one. So later, when I started learning and when I started entering rallies, and I thought that maybe this is the only way I could get a motorcycle. Oh nice. Which which was your first bike? My first bike was Yamaha FZ, which I won at a uh, rally. It was called India Bike Rally, organized in 2009. That was the first like, time like I actually bike possession. Yeah, that that <laughs> was that was <laughs> most so, definitely. So what what are you riding these days? I am riding. I am riding with Triumph these days, and okay. uh, or with whoever is kind enough to give me their vintage motorcycle to ride. So so, so you're you're sticking to that uh, category of vintage motorcycle. Yeah, like I, I just want to ride anything and everything that I can get my hands on. Okay, I don't want to be biased towards any motorcycle at all because every motorcycle te teaches teaches you so many new things. It is different. Right, like right. it is different. You might just say biker. that. Yeah, like <laughs> I don't know about being through biker, but like it's it's like you're learning something new every day. That brings me to my next question. Like, is when you're riding, are you are you uh, connecting with the bike, analyzing the bike, or are you soaking in the environment? Ah, to begin with, I am soaking in the environment. But like long stretches, like I said, like, you know, like you're traveling for like 500, 600 kilometers. You're riding right. 600 kilometers every day. So when everything around you is kind of same, it's stuck. You're stuck in that trance, and mm. that's when you start realizing how your motorcycle is working. You know, like from gear one to three, two, three, yeah, every gear, every. Every sound, pressure, every, every sound, yeah. <laughs> That's when you start to, you know, like recollect it in your head and you sort of think right. that Nirvana, ki, yeah, you know, like the music is playing in your head and all those things. Nice, nice, <laughs> nice. Okay, so uh, Sonia is also launching her website. 
Uh, you want to talk about that? Um, um, actually, yes. Um, since because now I want to do more, right. and I started doing a lot many things. Then you know, like motorcycling and running and traveling and trekking and all these things. So I thought maybe I should put everything together at one place where uh, people can you know just by click of a button can get to know everything right. that they want to. So um, I have a website now by the name of jnsonia.com. So I think you can find. Everything possibly about me over there. So, if in case nice. you're looking for more information, or if you want to go on a ride with me, or if there are things that you want to talk about, if you want me to ride your motorcycle, or anything of that sort, right, you know, like right. you can totally leave me an email and we can catch up or something like that. Nice, nice. So, what what kind of content uh, would a viewer see expect to see on that? Uh, my day-to-day -day life. Like, what am I doing every day? For example, I'm here in Bangalore. I'm doing this. I'm making mm -hmm. videos and I'm posting it. So, right. like, if 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 I'm running a marathon, I am talking about it. I'm right. making a video and I'm posting it. If I'm traveling to Himachal Pradesh, whichever motorcycle that I'm riding, I'm riding it. I'm making videos and I'm talking about where I'm traveling. So everything, like everything that I'm doing. Brilliant, brilliant. So it was a pleasure speaking to you. Very nice to meet you. Welcome to Bangalore. Thank you and so thanks much. Thanks for visiting our anniversary. Thank you. <laughs>